we have two technical teams, one drawn principally out of scientists and engineers out of University of Berkeley, California, and the other out of University of Cambridge. But we gave them the same MO, so it needs to be transportable, it needs to fit with an ISO container, it needs to be modular, and it needs to be able to passively cool, like we talked about earlier. And the University of Cambridge's solution um, was to um, take a basic fuel form, uranium dioxide, fuel rod, um, and um, surround it with a solar salt, but introduce mm-hmm. some um, heat into that system to create a natural circulation. And then as that circulates, the uranium keeps that momentum going. And so then you can take the pumps out, you can take the mechanical systems out, and the system shrinks right down. Okay, and you said that was salt, that was salt based? That was salt based, yes. So it's like okay, a so- yeah. Right, right, so, right. But the salt isn't molten in that system. So how is it, or or is it molten, it, it or is, how how is the heat transferred? So it is it is essentially liquid. So um, it'll start oh, off okay, as a solid, okay. but as you introduce heat, um, you create that natural circulation, and then the heat of the uranium maintains that natural circulation of salt, and that will remove heat from the fuel rods. That then you can remove heat to a turbine, and so forth. And so right, 